In this video, we provide the solution to question number one for practice exam number four for Math 1210, uh, in which case we are asked which of the following are the critical numbers for the function f of x equals x cubed minus 2x squared minus 7x plus 3. Now remember, the critical numbers are exactly those numbers which make the first derivative equal to zero or make the first derivative uh, not exist. So d and e there means does not exist. Now given that the function is a polynomial, the derivative will likewise be a polynomial. And so there are no points where it doesn't exist. So we need to figure out where the derivative is equal to zero. So to accomplish that, we're going to compute the derivative just by the usual derivative rules, power rule and such. So we get the derivative is going to be 3x squared minus 4x minus 7. We set that equal to zero. Um, and so we could use the quadratic, it's a quadratic function that we have to solve right here, this equation. So we could use the quadratic formula, we could complete the square, we could try to factor it. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of factoring, so if that's possible, I want to give it a try. So we have to look for number the numbers 3 times negative 7, so 3 times negative 7, that's equal to negative 21. Are there factors of negative 21 that add to negative 4? And I'm just going to use the, the numbers that are already in front of me. Notice if I just take 3 minus 7, that is negative 4. So I can factor this thing by groups. You can try to do a little bit of a guess and check if you want to. Um, or you can go through the factor by group process. I'm going to try to be a little bit quick here, so I think I could guess my way through. Um, you're going to take 3x times an x. That's the only way you can get a 3x squared. It has to be a 3x times x. To get a negative 7, well, it's going to be a 1 times 7. 1 has to be negative. 1 has to be positive. Um, and so I don't want to do something like a negative 7 over here, because that would give me a 3x times negative 7. That's like a negative 20, uh, 21 x. That's not right. Uh, so it looks like what I need is to get a plus 1 right here and a negative 7 right here. So again, you can kind of guess your way through it. Um, and so notice if we try this out here, 3x times x is 3x squared. Negative 7 times 1 is a negative 7. Um, then if we take 3x times 1, that's 3x. And negative 7 times x is a negative 7x. That's going to add to be negative 4x. So that is the right factorization. We set that equal to 0. And so we are going to get that the first one of, by the zero product property, if 3x minus 7 equals 0, that means x equals 7 thirds. And if x plus 1 equals 0, that means x equals negative 1, for which then we see that the correct answer is D.